What's up, you guys? The day is finally here where we are going to be organizing and styling the hutch. It is completely finished, and I cannot wait to share with you guys the finished look. Also, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so definitely make sure to watch the video all the way through so you can find out what I'm giving away and all of the rules for you to be able to enter. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right into the video. The hutch is finished, guys. There are definitely little parts that I do need to kind of like touch up. But overall, we can really get this thing organized. And I know that's what you guys have all been waiting for. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe down um, these areas because of the sanding and stuff that we had to do. And then we will clean out the drawers a little bit. I think they need to be um, just vacuumed. But that's kind of about it. And then we're going to start organizing it and making this look like a pantry so we can get our dining area back in order, right? So you guys already know I have my little helper here. She was just as excited as I was. She has been here through the entire process, helping me out the whole entire time. So we are really excited to finally be done. Also, like I mentioned, there are little areas that I do need to touch up. Like you guys saw when I was wiping it down, the back area I need to hit with the brush. But again, that is something that I can do along the way as long as the overall hutch is completely finished. That's all I could ask for. Next thing we need to do is vacuum all of the little like dustings and stuff out of there. And then to protect the bottom, I am going to be lining it with this grip print. I got it from, I got it from Target. I will have it linked below for you guys in case you're interested. It's the same ones that I have in the kitchen cabinets. So I was trying to figure out what was the best way to line these drawers. Do I do it horizontally or do I do it vertically? And I ended up going the vertical route because I felt like that was easier on me. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit as I place it horizontally. So 
vertical is definitely the better way to go also after lining all of my kitchen cabinets i decided to use a razor this time instead of scissors because it was going to allow me more precise lines and really make sure the drawers look really really nice i will also say if you guys are going to be using any type of razor please be careful because i did end up cutting myself a little bit and had to put a band-aid on so if you're using a razor please be careful So we got the drawers all lined. It was a little bit harder um, than I expected, but I like how it turned out. I did cut myself a little bit, so I put on a band-aid and we're gonna keep this going. So Riley chose the middle drawer to be her snack drawer. So that's where we're gonna start. And then I'm going to figure out what I wanna put in the other two drawers. Now in the dresser that we originally had, remember I used, these little dividers and i was able to take them out of the dresser because you guys know we did use like the little stickies um but you can remove it it didn't damage the drawer at all but i don't think i really sorry i don't think i really want to use that in the hutch china cabinet whatever you guys want to call it um at least not in the strap snack drawer just because like it didn't really work um, the way I thought it was going to. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm gonna use these bins. It came in, I believe, a three pack from Target. It's Target's Light Broom. I believe it's Target's line, but it's a, the Light Broom. I'll put it up on the screen and also have it linked down below for you guys. It's that brand. Um, it was really affordable and I was using it different places around my apartment, but I'm going to repurpose these. It was two of these big ones and then a skinny one. So we're going to see if that fits nicely in the drawer and then start to organize all of her snacks. Don't get in love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. Don't know I thought for the drawer using bins would be better than those actual dividers that I used in the dresser, but you guys will end up seeing that I have switched things around so many different times. And that's the thing when it comes to organizing, it's all about trial and error and finding out what way is going to work best for you. So this is all the extra stuff that we do still have. I'm not quite sure where I want to put it. As you guys can see, we have extra fruit snacks and also these graham crackers. So I might just like try and store them 
somewhere because we're getting rid of this. And then I do also have this big bag of um, Cheetos that she likes. Um, some of this stuff I am going to throw out like this and this so I can get rid of that. And then I do have some cinnamon sticks, which I will hold on to. I believe these are bad as well. These are, I guess, extra bags. Not quite sure. And this is tea. So I need to just go through all this stuff. I also need to figure out where I'm going to put all of her like candies and like dessert snacks and stuff like that. So that is basically the biggest thing. Um, trying to figure out what I t should do with the extra stuff. So I'm not quite sure what to do with these bags. I'm almost thinking about putting them in my car. This way, if I ever need to go food shopping, I already have um, bags in there, but I didn't even realize how many of these reusable bags I actually have. And I did already give some away to family and friends. So not quite sure what I should do with them. Um, this top drawer, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, we are going to go to Home Goods and Marshalls later today. So I might try and find something to like organize the teas and um, the liquid IVs and things like that. Um, but I think we're going to pause on the drawers for just a second and then tackle this space. Because I do want to put all of her like extra juice boxes and extra maybe even snacks, store them in here um for now so they're not just sitting on the floor So I wasn't really sure how I wanted to organize these two cabinets on the end. I thought it would be perfect to store all of Riley's extra like juices, things like that. And then I was trying to make sense of all of her like lunch containers, but they just did not seem to be working. I wasn't really happy with it. And then I decided to actually switch that out and put all of our extra waters, my protein drinks and store them there rather than having them sit in the cases on the floor. I decided to switch things up and actually start organizing and styling the cabinets up top because I had more of a vision as to what I was looking for. I knew I wanted to display the tea set that my grandma had gotten her. And then I also had some, you know, like fancier, like wine glasses, champagne glasses. Some of them my grandma gave. So I thought that these would be perfect to put in the top. And then we will figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the drawers and cabinets down below. quick update so I ended up switching everything that was in here to over here only because it's easier to put everything into the refrigerator um, because these are all just like extra drinks snacks all of the good stuff so figured it'd be better right here and then over here I had an idea so for my um, instant pot I was originally had it in the cabinet in the kitchen but 
it was just way too big and the cabinet wouldn't close. So I wanna see if I could possibly fit it underneath here and then we can store some more stuff at the top. I also purchased a set of these. So it came with four of them and they basically just stack on top of each other. I thought these would be perfect for storing like wine. Um, and I also wanted to put it in this corner just because like I'm the only one who's clearly drinking wine in here. So just to kind of keep everything in the corner um, and a drawer that she or a door that she won't really open it. All right, so I purchased um, this over the door organizer for um, the hutch and unfortunately it's a little bit too big, like it's too wide. So it's this piece and it has a piece that like literally will go over the door so I don't have to drill into it, which is nice. And then it has like this little basket that I need to um, attach. And what I was thinking about was putting, um, maybe like our foil and all that stuff and put it on the door for extra storage. However, let me show you guys. Let me put it on. Yeah, so it's a little too See how wide. it's just too wide? So I'm gonna have to return it. Um, and I guess maybe see if I can find like just a skinnier one. And then this way, I can store, let me grab this out, like the tin foil and stuff on the door. But now that I think about it, like it wouldn't close here. So maybe I need to find something else that I can kind of like store and use um, the door as extra storage. So we are done for today, but these are all of the boxes that I was able to um, get rid of just based on everything that we were able to store in the hutch. Um, it's still a work in progress, but we were able to move the table back to the center. And then this is what it looks like with the lights on. Like, so really, really cute. I'm really excited about it. So tomorrow, what we are going to do is clear off the entire top. And then also everything that's still stuck in the drawers so we can organize that. We do still have this whole entire side and yes i do still need to get a mirror to fit that piece and then we also have the top piece up here as well um, plus the bottom and top drawer to organize so we do have space it's just more of just trying to like you know figure everything out i did put the small little jars that we picked up from home goods i shared this with you guys in a haul a couple of videos back so I just need to clean those out and then we are going to use the Cricut to label them I was thinking about doing flour sugar oats possibly um, but I'm still trying to figure that out and then in here at least at the bottom or the middle part I wanted to maybe put all of my um, stuff for smoothies in here um, so that is the thought for right now and I, me and Bobby's gonna go to Target. Yes, we're gonna go and, to Target and, and Home Goods. And guess what? I'm from Target. I'm getting. What are you getting? Um, water scrubbies. Water scrubbies. Yes. All right, guys, so today we are finishing styling and organizing the hutch. The other day I went to Home Goods to try and find some type of like organizational system for our teas, but I just really did not find that much. Like I was like disappointed, and I feel like that's the second Home Goods that I went to. Um, I did end up settling on this like four piece organizational system. It has two medium ones, a small one, and an extra small. Um, I was just more interested in the longer ones I feel like that would be perfect for our teas and you know what else like random stuff that we have in here I did end up purchasing some new snacks so I want to 
redo the snack drawer a bit um nothing major but just like redo it a little bit and i'm almost wondering if i do need another drawer to use one of the other drawers for snacks but we will see we do also need to organize and style this last section over here and then label the jars so we have a lot of stuff that still needs to get done. I'm also doing a giveaway, which I mentioned to you guys earlier on in the video. So when we are labeling the jars, I will tell you guys more information about that giveaway, how you can enter to win, and what I'm actually giving away. I could be lying and tell you you're fine. I could be lying the rest of the night. But I won't do it, no, no way. Pretend that you're doing okay I could give in when you want it your way But I won't do it no, no way I'm saying so It had actually been a few days since I had originally started organizing everything and by that time snacks had been eaten and I just had a better vision for what I was looking for. So I ended up taking out the other containers because I didn't like the fact that we were losing out on so much space closer to the end of the drawer and I wanted to get as many of the chips in there as possible. I had also gone to the grocery store. I went to Costco that day and picked up some extra snacks and wanted to fill the drawer with those as well. You won't believe who he's calling that to. You don't deserve what he's putting you through. It's not your fault, oh no, no way I'm saying so. Mm -hmm. Promise you'll end it the second you can. Promise I'll be here to hold you, my friend. It's not your fault, oh no. This is how we have it for right now. I can fit this other piece in here, but then I would have to get rid of the foil. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what I would want to put in here. So I'm going to leave it like this for now, unless something else comes to me. Um, maybe I can even just put these rice cakes there too, for now. <laughs> and then also all of the extra fruit snacks and graham crackers i just put them in this little gold bin i actually picked it up from the dollar tree so i got two of them i had a spot for them but it just did not work but i think it fits perfect right here The hutch is really coming along. We got the two dressers all neat and organized. So we really just need to organize the last one. We have my like healthy station. I really like how it turned out. Um, there are a couple of items that are in the sink that need to be washed and cleaned. So once those are done, I will put them in there. So the only thing left to do is to label and fill up those jars. So those are already cleaned, washed from earlier today. And I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy 2.0 
to label them and show you guys just how easy it is and I also wanted to let you guys know that I will be giving away a Cricut Joy itself like when I got one of these like it was a game changer when it comes to like organizing and labeling all of my things so I'm going to be giving away a Cricut Joy some black vinyl paper transfer paper all the tools that you guys need as well as the mat so it's really easy to enter in I don't really know necessarily how long I'm going to give it, maybe like a week or two. So you guys definitely want to make sure that you are entering now. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and then just leave a comment down below letting me know that you are finished doing all, and then leave me your handles for Instagram and TikTok so I can just verify and make sure. Unfortunately, this giveaway is only open or available to US citizens, but I think this is such a great way to start off the new year get yourself organized and start labeling all of your things because the Cricut Joy is like the perfect like small little machine to do it all and it's also super easy to use so I'm excited I hope you guys are excited so now let me show you guys just how easy it is to use I absolutely love my Cricut Joy because it's compact, super easy to use. I like the fact that it can connect to my phone as well as the computer. So you don't have to worry about taking up too much space. If anything, the hardest part was finding a font that I liked. I didn't want something too skinny. I wanted something a little bit thicker, a nice little script. And I ended up just playing around with a couple of the different fonts and finally found the one that I liked. Now it's time to actually fill them up. I did purchase these from Home Goods. I did a shop with me where you guys saw the ones I picked up, but I will try and find these online somewhere or something similar in case you guys are interested in organizing your pantry as well. All right, so I do still have these containers as well. Clearly this one is filled with all of the candy, but this one did have rice in it. So I'm gonna put the rice in here. I'm not quite sure what I want to put in this one. Like I have pasta, unless I put the rice in here and the pasta in there. I could probably do that. And then I will just put that up at the very top.
So let's do a quick tour of the pantry. So on this side, we have all of our like fancier glasses. Um, also Riley's tea set up at the top and then our fancier dishes. In the middle is going to be the nice um, tea set my grandma gave her. And then up at the top, we have rice, candies, pasta, and down at the bottom we have oats sugar and flour i didn't want to put these up at the top just because i felt like they might be too heavy so i liked them down at the bottom then we have like my healthy section so at the top is going to be all of the pieces for my nutribullet i also have my bellway um, fiber and then here is basically going to be everything I would need to make a smoothie. I have the chia seeds, flaxseed, MCT oil, my whey protein powder, collagen, and then the C4. This is basically what I take before I go to the gym. And then I've really been enjoying the Bloom Greens. I actually need to get some more. So I keep this here as well. And then down at the bottom, I do have a third um, larger cup. So I will put that in there once that's washed. I have those right there and then my um like to go water um cups i have two more those are both dirty so i'll put those in there as well over to the right hand side where um it's closer to the window i have all of my wines up at the top and then i have my instant pot down at the bottom this is like literally the perfect place to put it because it doesn't fit in my um cabinets i also wanted to put this stuff over here because it's not really stuff that riley would ever need to grab for same thing for the top so i just wanted it kind of like more out of the way <coughs> I did update the drawers just a little bit from the last time you guys saw them. So I was able to fit all of her school lunch containers, like, you know, pack up to go containers for like meal prep and stuff like that. Um, and then I just use this small little bin to organize any of these small little containers. When I send Riley to school with mozzarella sticks or chicken nuggets, I like to put ketchup and marinara sauce in there. So we do use that. And then I have my cheesecloth and then these are just like silicone um, toppings. So when I need to put um, something away in the refrigerator, I can put that on top. Also made a small adjustment to the snack drawer. So we have all of our chips and all the good stuff. And then I ended up using that small um, container in here to add more of these granolas. This is the same and then I ended up just adding the candy right here because Riley really, really likes to have like a dessert. So this is a quick little snack she can grab. <coughs> and then the last drawer, not too much. I don't think I've changed this at all. So we have just extra stuff for like baking, crackers, popcorn. I do have my liquid IV stuff um, also this lemonade mixture because when I want like juice, I want juice, but these are a really great alternative along with some crystal light. So you can have the juice while also still making sure that you're containing a lot of water. So that helps with weight loss. Um, in here, oh, I did end up adding the hot cocoa packs. We only had three. I thought they fit perfectly with the teas. I kept the rice cakes here. These are old. Um, these are extra um, like party bags. This is what I used when we made the pot puri. So, you know, there's always something that will come up. So I can definitely use that. I have my foil. I will probably eventually put that in the kitchen once I get that space organized but for now it can stay here and then these are sandwich bags and snack bags which are perfect to grab when I am making her school lunch oh I did forget this side 
Over on here, I ended up just putting that bin up at the top because we did end up taking out um, one of the boxes for the little bites. And then I did need to restock on her juice and put that in the fridge. So that freed up space to put all of the extra snack bags and sandwich bags. And then here are just the goldfish and her cinnamon toast crunch. An easy grab for her um, in the morning or in the afternoon. And then of course, down at the bottom is where I have all of my water and my protein drinks. I also wanted to show you guys, this is everything that I am able to throw away just from organizing everything in the bins and the jars and all of that stuff. So I cannot wait to put this out. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know so many of you guys have been invested and following from day one to see how this hutch turned out. I absolutely love it. I'm able to store so much more stuff to the point where my kitchen cabinets are almost bare, which is also a good thing because then I'm able to really organize everything and make that look nice. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Also make sure you guys enter the giveaway so one of you guys will be able to win a Cricut Joy. Super easy rules. I will have them on the screen in case you guys forgot. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video. Bye!